Pop Quiz. Castor Canadensis, the Canadian beaver. Like humans, beaver is the only other species that can actually modify its environment. So beavers think a lot like humans in a way. They have a lot of behaviors like humans, in particular Canadians, busy as a beaver, work as hard as a beaver. So our group here at the Centre for Applied Genomics, or TCAG, sequenced the beaver genome. Uh, we started this project about a half a year ago and used the latest genome sequencing technologies that we use to study human genomes and we wanted to develop some new and improved methods to actually test on the beaver genome so we could then apply those back to studying human disease. We started with blood from a 10-year-old male beaver from the Toronto Zoo and his name was Ward. We used some methods to actually take the blood and turn it into DNA and we were able to generate the, the complete genome sequence of what we think to be the most important organism in Canada. This technology allows us to sequence the DNA from any organism. DNA is DNA. But ideally what we like to have is a perfect human genome sequence. And it's actually easier for us to, to develop those methodologies studying another species. Most species can contain very, very similar gene numbers and types of genes. And it's just this tinkering of the letters or the gene copy number that occurs through evolution that makes us unique as a species, but also as individuals. So what we're trying to do is find out what those gene sequence differences are between humans and beavers and humans and rats and mice, for example, to see what contribute to the uniqueness of the beaver species. Then we can also infer what makes us unique. Well, we're actually pretty good at, at, at sequencing genome. We do about 10,000 of them a year. But however, this is actually resequencing where we actually know what the end product is. We just basically map and, and assemble the genome. But in the case of Ward, it's completely different. This is what we call de nouveau sequencing, which literally means from scratch. We actually do not know what the beaver genome looks like. So we actually have to assemble without knowing what the final picture of the jigsaw puzzle is. If we can do this, we can actually use the same technology and the same approach to identify new mutations in the human genome that we currently are missing. The technologies that we've now developed as part of this, we are starting to actually already apply in, in my own autism research studies here. And it's very exciting because as we've reported on, I think over the last few years, quite a bit uh, in the media, we can now find answers for roughly 20% of the families that have autism. And that keeps inching up every time we do a new study. But we, we felt that we needed a, a real leap, a real breakthrough to find new genetic variants missed in the older technologies. And we think that's really what this beaver sequencing project has provided us, a new methodology to study human DNA, and in particular our autism project. So we're using the same approaches now to study autism genomes. 